In today's video, we're talking about five beginner cybersecurity careers for digital nomads. Talking points today are gonna to be job description, feeder roles, what roles lead into these careers. We're gonna be talking about job pay and we're gonna be talking about certifications. What certifications you can get other than a college degree to get into these careers. The number one job on this list is gonna be a Security Operations Center Analyst. Security Operations Center Analyst or SOC Analyst are frontline defenders in an organization's cybersecurity operations. They monitor systems for suspicious activities, analyze logs and alerts from security tools, and respond to incidents in real time. Their primary goal is to detect, assess, and mitigate potential cyber threats before they escalate. Feeder roles that lead into a SOC analyst is IT support specialist, help desk technician, network technician, and systems administrator. According to Glassdoor, security operations center analysts make between $75,000 per year and $126,000 per year. Certifications that'll help you get into this career are CompTIA Security Plus, CompTIA CYSA Plus Cybersecurity Analyst, Certified SOC Analysis, GIAC Certified Incident Handler. If you guys want to check out a company that's hiring for this position, it's rapdev.io. That's R-A-P-D-E-V.io. Go over to company, hit careers, open positions, security operations center analyst. So th this is a remote position. All the positions I chose today are going to be remote. So, um, Again, they say, who are you, bachelor degree or equivalent experience. So if you have certifications and all this stuff, do not hesitate to apply to all of these jobs. So you can check out the rest of this. I'm not going to get too deep into all of these jobs. I just want to give you an opportunity to check out, you know, what they're looking for. So go check it out, rapdev.io. If you guys feel like you don't have the qualifications or the experience to go out and get some of these jobs that I talk about, especially on the IT or the digital marketing side of things, I invite you to go check out Course Careers. If you guys want to check out Course Careers, I will drop a link in the description down below so you can get a discount on the paid courses. Um, once you get over to Course Careers, you can check out all of these different options technology sales information technology accounting data analytics software development digital marketing UI UX and human resources we're gonna click on the information technology so you can come in here and sign up for a free course get some free training to see if this is what you want to do from there you can sign up for a paid course I would go check out all of the um, student stories. Saul is a good one. I did an interview on my channel. If you want to check that out, let me know if you do, and I'll drop a link to that. Also, just kind of scroll through here, uh, check out the the free video, and then you can check out the different career paths. The one thing I will say about Course Careers that's awesome is they give you experience and they help you find a job. They don't guarantee a job, but they give you all of the information from resumes to interview questions to the preparations, plus they teach you how to get experience before you actually have experience. So go check it out, link in the description, Course Careers. Number two on this list is an incident response analyst. Incident response analysts specialize in responding to and managing cybersecurity incidents. They are responsible for identifying threats, minimizing damage, and preventing future incidents by conducting a post-incident analysis and improving security measures. They work closely with the other security teams to contain and resolve cyber threats. Feeder roles that lead into this career are SOC Analyst, IT Security Administrator, Junior Network Administrator, and IT Support Technician. According to Glassdoor, an incident response analyst typically made between $99,000 per year and $172,000 per year. Certifications that help you get into this career are CompTIA Security Plus, Certified Incident Handler, GIAC Certified Incident Handler, Certified Information Systems Security Professional, and Cisco CyberOps Associate. If you guys want to check out a company that's hiring for this position, it's called Flexential. That's F-L-E-X-E-N-T-I-A-L.com. Go over to company, careers. On the next page, get started today. And then we're going to scroll down to the incident response analyst. So I'm not going to get into too much of this. This is a remote position. 
Uh, they got some requirements. It doesn't say anything necessarily about a degree. One to three years systems administrative experience, network and database administrative, two to three years of customer service, network plus, security plus, CCNA desired for certification. So go check out the rest of it. It's flexinshield.com. Number three on this list is a penetration tester. Penetration testers, also known as ethical hackers, are responsible for identifying and exploiting vulnerabilities within an organization's systems, networks, and applications to assess the security posture. Their goal is to simulate cyber attacks and provide recommendations for securing potential weak points before malicious hackers can exploit them. Feeder roles that lead up to this career are SOC analyst, junior security analyst, network administrator, and IT technician. According to Glassdoor, penetration testers typically make between $103,000 per year and $188,000 per year. Certifications that'll help you get into this career are certified ethical hacker, offensive security certified professional, CompTIA Pen Test Plus, GIAC penetration tester. A company currently hiring for this position is Coal Fire. That's C-O-A-L-F-I-R-E.com. Go over to the about. Careers. Coal Fire jobs. So we're going to look at the consultant penetration tester, red team remote. Again, I'm not going to get into too much of this. You guys can come check these jobs out, kind of get a better feel for what you're going to be doing day to day, uh, have a better understanding what they're looking for. Three to five years of client facing consulting experience, three to five years client focused red team experience. Um, let's see, ability to travel, red team tactics and stuff. They're paying between sixty four and one hundred twelve thousand dollars per year. I'm guessing depending on what you uh, your experience level. So. Go check it out. It's coldfire.com. Number four on this list is a digital forensic analyst. Digital forensic analysts investigate cyber crimes and security incidents by gathering and analyzing data from digital devices such as computers, smartphones, and networks. They work on recovering deleted files, tracing the source of cyber attacks, and helping law enforcement with cyber crime investigations. Feeder roles that lead into this career are SOC analyst, IT support technician, network technician, and incident response technician. According to Glassdoor, digital forensic analysts typically make between $66,000 per year and $112,000 per year. Certifications that'll help you get into this career are Certified Forensic Computer Examiner, GIAC Certified Forensic Examiner, CompTIA Cybersecurity Analyst, in case certified examiner. A company currently hiring for this position is called Iron Gate Security. That's I R O N G A T E S E C U R I T Y dot com. Go over to resources, click on careers. It's going to take you over to ZipRecruiter. We're going to be looking at that digital forensic analyst. And then, so they're paying between $67,000 and $109,000 per year. Um, this is another remote position. They, they say bachelor degree or, you know, certain amount of experience. Again, never hesitate to apply to these no matter what they say. So qualifications, they got other qualifications here. You guys can go check out all of this stuff. Again, it's irongatesecurity.com. Number five on this list is a vulnerability analyst. Vulnerability analysts are responsible for identifying security flaws in systems, applications, and networks. They conduct vulnerability scans and penetration tests, analyze the results, and work with the IT team to prioritize patch identified vulnerabilities. Their work ensures that security weaknesses are fixed before they can be exploited. Feeder roles that lead into this career are IT security analyst, SOC analyst, junior network administrator, and systems administrator. According to Glassdoor, vulnerability analysts typically make between $102,000 per year and $160,000 per year. Certifications that help you get into this career are certified vulnerability assessor, CompTIA Pen Test Plus, GIAC certified vulnerability assessor, Certified Information Systems Auditor. A company currently hiring for this position is Hyatt. That's H-Y-A-T-T dot com. Go down to the bottom, click on careers. And then we're going to put 
analyst in to find what we're looking for. And then analyst cybersecurity vulnerability management remote opportunity. So obviously a lot of times these companies can kind of play with words on what this title is actually called, but this position is exactly what it is. So flexible work schedules, this is a remote opportunity. Uh, you guys can read through the rest of this stuff. Hyatt's a huge company, very well known. Minimum three to four years of technical work experience. Two years of experience in cybersecurity is required. And then they got some other things they would love for you to have. CompTIA Security Plus and things like that. So go check it out, Hyatt.com. Hopefully you guys found the information in this video valuable. If you did, make sure and hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, and that thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, drop them in the comments section down below. If you guys are interested in getting into IT and you're looking for more information on it or want to get some free training, make sure and check out Course Careers in the description. As always, thanks for hanging out with me. You guys have an awesome, awesome day. Peace.